Hi, I'm Allison Navas, also known as Miss Metacognition. We are happy you are here on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get tons of tips to help you be organized, get your thoughts in line, and save you lots of time. Hello, Allison Navas, Mrs. Metacognition here. This video is a quick little ditty for our foundation series to get you set up on Google Drive and set up on that before you get ready to be on Google Classroom and show you some of the basic functionalities of Google Drive, including Google Docs and Google Slides. So let's get started. You will, you need a Gmail account, so be sure you have a Gmail account, they're free. Then open your Gmail and go to what some people call the waffle, these nine dots here in the corner where I'm moving my cursor, you're gonna click there. And there's lots of functionality in the G Suite, but we're going to go to Drive, that triangle right there. It's gonna open up in another tab for you. So you'll be able to see here in my Mrs. Metacognition email, I already have several folders made. I suggest you think of Google Drive as your electronic file system, as if you would have a filing cabinet, right? So wherever you keep your files, especially as we are continuing in digital learning and likely will be that way um, it, for a while, you want to have your file system as organized as you can so that when you go to put things on Google Classroom, it's gonna be a time save for you. So I'm gonna show you how to make a folder. You go to this button in the top left corner, new. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is also where you go if you wanna upload files and make new files. So we're gonna make new folder. We are gonna call this um, history internal assessment. That's the name of the internal research paper in the IB history class I teach. So we're gonna go create there. And now I'm gonna put the files that I want to, um, I tend to name my folders by either the unit or the class that I'm teaching. Maybe you prefer to name it by topic, you know, World War I causes or, um, you know, the civil rights movement, whatever it may be. So anyway, I'm gonna click here on history internal assessment folder that we just created. I'm gonna go to new, and so now I'm adding things inside that folder, right? So I'm gonna go to new Google Doc. That's, um, honestly, I think the things I use the most are Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Sheets, which are basically Google's version of you know Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, if you're familiar with Microsoft Office. So a couple of quick little things to show you on Google Docs. Here you can click where it says Untitled Document, and that will let you make a name for the document. So I wanna be able to show you how to uh, upload rubrics into Google Classroom shortly. So I'm gonna just put rubric example, and then I could make a rubric here. Uh, for our purposes, I'm gonna show one of the ones I already have. So this is how to make a document. So it auto saves, it lives on what's called the cloud, which is the digital space of your Google Drive. Good stuff. So um, what else do I wanna show you on here? I think that'll work for now. Let's go back over to our Google Drive tab, and I wanna show you here this is the same tab. If you wanted to upload a whole folder of information that you already have for this class or whatever it is you're organizing, you can do that here. And then the other two that I just mentioned, Google Sheets is like Google's version of Excel and Google Slides is Google's version of PowerPoint, which is helpful as well. So there's a lot more functionality, but that's a quick video to get you set up. And that is what we will use when we continue on.